Right, so we're gonna be checking out some multiverse today in Mattel. I guess it's kind of all one and the same. I was trying to wait because on Amazon they have an Amazon exclusive, which is basically this dude, Volko. What's his name? Volk, yeah, Volko. I know I'm probably saying that wrong, but it doesn't really matter. Well, basically, Amazon has, has a deluxe version of this action figure, so you have to buy this one to get the Hammerhead Shark, which you desperately need in your collection because the Hammerhead Shark is extremely cool. Because how many times do you have an opportunity to buy a Hammerhead Shark with a saddle, off, a saddle on him, and he probably shoots laser beams out of his eyes. So you're going to take this one, give it to your kid, Salvation Army, some poor kid for Christmas, whatever. Keep the hammerhead and then patiently wait till December something to get the Amazon exclusive one. Then you have this thing, and this is, this is cool and sucks all at the same time. Basically, oh, first off, this was like $20 on Amazon. I haven't seen it in the stores yet. This thing is also $20, but basically all you want here is the crab. The crab doesn't really look that good. He kind of looks like a cheap toy, but it looks like he's in the movie, and the movie looks amazing from the trailer so far. It could possibly be the best DC movie ever made. At least that's how I'm seeing it. So then you got two more figures to give to your kids. Those things really suck. Um... But you need the crab guy if you want your collection to be semi. I don't know, the crab is cool. So basically it's $20 for the crab. And then you have the Aquaman. He comes with the cheap Aquaman. So once again, you got to take another Aquaman. Get rid of him. God, I hate when they do that. You got to buy so much crap that you don't want to get the stuff that you do want. He comes with like a great white shark with the saddle on him. This shark looks really cool. It's way bigger than that one. This thing is $30. Basically... Target had like spend a hundred bucks on toys you get 25 off so it was a pretty nice deal so I came up and got it all this thing looks pretty cool this thing is thirty dollars definitely looking forward to that and then you have the multiverse stuff here right here you got um I mean they call him uh I'm trying to find the name orb I mean orm He's Ocean Master, bro. Ocean Master. You can't put Ocean Master on there. You gotta put Arm, Orm, whatever. I was starting to think that DC Multiverse is as good or better than Marvel Legends. Then I got these, and I haven't got them open yet. And I'm kind of thinking that they're almost there, but they're not quite there yet. So for this review, we're going to do some side-by-side -side comparisons with figures that I already have, like other Ocean Masters. And I'm going to compare it with some movie marvel legends to kind of see who's on top as far as articulation goes sculpt paint and whatever so yes it's going to be an extremely long video so get that popcorn ready plastic and then you have mira and when i saw this i was like okay this is the same figure that i already bought but now she's blue i have the same figure right over here we'll do a side by side comparison and she's basically pretty much almost a brand new action figure. So kind of looking forward to that. And then you have Aquaman. This is Aquaman that we've always wanted. You got the orange and green. Or it's almost orange and green. This is the one that if Mezco was going to do one, this is the costume that I want. Hopefully they will. If they do, then I'm going to have two. Which would kind of be cool to have the other suit and this suit side by side. I mean, heck, it seems like with Mezco... You gotta have to buy at least three of every character anyways that's just kind of how they get down but this is Aquaman that I've always wanted he looks okay could look a little bit better I mean it is what it is you got to build that build them figure and then you have black mana this is the one the end-all be-all black mana this thing is amazing when I saw this and they did this in the movie and it's like that's that's how it's done so for everybody making movies this is how it's done. Don't change him from the comics. Do him just like he is in the comics. Black mana perfection. I'll pull out a few black manas. Just for you to see how good this thing actually is. And then you have, I'm pretty sure this is a Target exclusive 2 pack. 40 bucks. This is like something that you should probably pass on. But if you're a sucker, you're going to go ahead and pick it up. It's basically Ocean Master. Or you can call him Orm. Or Ocean. I'm going to call him Ocean Master. Or you got Aquaman in his armor. 
Just crack all this stuff open. I'll do that. Be like, eee, I won't even do that. I'll just open it up. And then when I got it all lined up on this board, we'll do a size comparison. Then we'll do some other comparisons. And then we'll even do some more some comparisons. So yeah, it's probably going to be a really long video. Let's check them out. So this is my Aquaman Multiverse DC Mattel haul. This is basically everything that you're going to need to complete the whole set. First off, you have this guy sitting here. We'll check him out one at a time. But just real quick, he's sitting on a shark. Everything. That, the only thing that, I, that is missing here is the deluxe version or the multiverse version of him, which is an Amazon exclusive, which I have on pre-order, but it doesn't come out until next month. Back here on the back, you have basically Ocean Master in armor, Ocean Master that actually looks like Ocean Master mirror in a blue suit instead of a green suit, Aquaman in the suit that you would want him in. Then you have Aquaman in armor, looks like it's kind of like a crab armor. For some reason, he's bigger than the Aquaman to the right of him. Then you have Black Mana, that thing is amazing. Then the build a figure, the trench monster back there in the back, that thing also looks pretty cool. Then you have the Great White Shark, that thing's like twice the size of this shark, that thing's $30, actually looks pretty cool, we'll go over him in a second. An Aquaman that you can pretty much throw away, another Ocean Master, and a Gold, I don't know why he's in so many different costumes, but here he is again, then you have the Crab King. Let's All check right, we'll him out. we'll start right here, basically I got this thing, why do I keep saying basically? No clue. Here's this hammerhead shark. This thing definitely looked a lot cooler before I bought it than when I bought it. It's actually not that cool. This is something that should be an easy pass for most of you, at least if you're, at least if you're trying to save $20. The action figure that comes on it, this is basically the cheap version of the multiverse. He actually looks pretty good. Like The details there, the articulation is decent. It just looks like he's just a little off. His sword actually has a holster that fits on his back. As far as what this thing does, you can flip this thing. I couldn't find a button or whatever. No big deal. For some reason, this thing moves, but it also goes inside of them, and I don't know why that does that either. Really makes no sense. This toy, I mean, I'm glad I got it. It's 20 bucks, but it's really not that good of a toy. So whatever. We'll just keep it moving. Then the three-pack Aquaman. The head sculpt on this thing actually looks really good. If you compare it to that one back there, it's basically just as good. It might even be the same head. I guess we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. As far as the rest of the action figure goes, he definitely looks a little cheap, but they are cheap. I think these things are like $10, $15, so I guess you're getting what you pay for. And then you have this other arm in the gold armor, which makes no sense he's in gold armor. Maybe he actually wears all these different suits in the movie. Another throwaway figure, you gotta get him to get this Crab King. He also comes in the three pack. He's cool, but he's no big deal. Then you have the Crab King. He's got this weird shell that doesn't match his body that kind of goes on his back, which is weird. It almost looks like you could like easily clip that off and use it for somebody's like accessory or something. Like they kill the crab and they use this to like go bobsledding or something. And I'm not real sure. It doesn't really make any sense. It really doesn't even look that good. But he does have an action because he's an action figure. You squeeze the legs and he tries to pinch you and grab you. That is definitely pretty cool. I like that. Not really a lot of love on the sculpt and definitely not a lot of love on the paint. But he's cool. He's going to look great on my shelf. I think he was uh, $20 for the three pack. Maybe $30 for the three pack. So basically you paid $20, $30 for him. You go ahead and pick him up at Target. And then you have the Great White Shark. This thing is awesome. It has a wheel on the bottom, which just goes, this is an instant immediate to tell you this is a kid's toy. It's got a wheel on the bottom for that you can wheel it across the floor, which is something that a collector would really never do. Well, I guess they can do it right now. So he does wheel across the floor, one wheel. Yeah, definitely a kid's toy. The action, you push this button right here. This is pretty cool. <clears throat> the mouth opens and closes it moves really slow definitely like that and at the same time the tail moves I like how it moves as well Our articulation is good it sticks out a mile away you can see it the armor is basically the same color as the shark which I kind of wish it was slightly a different color for it would stand out a little bit more 
But it would also be cool if it could come off, because then you could have one with armor and one without, and then I would have bought two. And you guys would have got me, instead of for $30, you would have got me for $60. Aquaman on the... <clears throat> he comes with this little accessory here. You can also put his hand inside of this, like he's punching water, which is really cool. And pretty much anybody's hand will fit in that. So that's a really cool touch. I'm glad that they added it. Then he has a weird hole in his fin, which kind of is stupid and sucks all at the same time. Because why would you want a hole in his fin? So he's supposed to hold on to that, pretend like he's like barely holding on to the shark. Maybe it's not his shark, like he stole the shark from somebody else. I guess that's a cool touch. That's really a cool touch. He's another throwaway. So now we got this one, which he's like the same as this one. I think he's exactly the same. So we're up to two Aquaman so far, and that's what I hate. When you got to buy action figures that you really didn't even want and you don't use, you're not going to put them in your collection. And how many of them do you need? I understand that kids are going to buy Aquaman. You've got to put them in everything. Kind of sucks, kind of cool all at the same time. If you, and it has a missile here, which is definitely a cool touch. You push this lever down, this harness. It sucks because it knocks him off when you do that. I'll just go ahead and take him off. So this works like this. That's definitely cool. You push this button, the missile shoots out. And that's why it comes with two missiles. For when you lose that missile, you can take this missile, put it right back in there, push the handle down, locks it down, and now you're secure. You can put him back up top. It's pretty cool. Hate the hole in the fin. Other than that, it's a really cool shark. 30 bucks for that one, though, which is kind of pricey. We'll go all the way down here to this trench monster. This thing is awesome. The only thing that sucks about this is that he's an army builder. You want like 20 of these things if you can afford it. And when I look on Instagram, it seems like some of you guys can pretty much afford anything the way you guys army build. I can't get down like that. God, like one or two or maybe three if I'm really trying to accomplish something. But God, when I see you guys getting 20 of the same figure and they're like 20 bucks each... That's crazy. He's a build him, so you can't army build him. So everybody's complaining about that at the show. I don't know if they said this just to get everybody off their back or not, but they said they're going to put him in a two-pack. And if they put him in a two-pack, they're probably going to put him in a two-pack with, let me guess, another Aquaman. So every time you buy one, you'll have to buy a figure that you don't want. Because I highly doubt that they'll give you two of these in a two-pack. God, that would be awesome. That's That would be really cool. I guess that's kind of what Marvel Legends is doing right now. So go ahead and put two of these in a two-pack, and I'll buy one of those. Then I'll have three, and I can kind of build my little three-man army because I'm not getting any more than that because I can't afford them. As far as articulation goes on this, the head is on a ball. The jaw is jointed. It does have an ab crunch. It's pretty well hidden. He does turn at the waist, but mine's kind of stuck. There he goes. A ball here. Bicep swivel. That's really well done. Single um, elbow, which most of you guys hate, but I prefer because there's no pin there and it looks nice and clean. The wrist that you're always used to, the thigh that you're used to, thigh cut the same. Double knee, they did a really good job on that. Marvel Legends, take note. This is the shit that I'm talking about right here. It's a double knee joint, works really well, and there's no pin. Looks good open, looks good closed. That is action figure perfection when they do that. I wish every toy company was out there. If you're not doing it, please take note and start doing it. You have a hinge here at the foot. This thing is definitely cool. I wish I had at least two more of these because that's probably all I could afford. Then you have the Black Manta. He looked cooler in the package. You get him out of the package. He's still pretty cool. Could you imagine if they would have did like clear lenses on the eyes and he lights up or just at least clear lenses or like a power effect to where you could like replicate beams kind of on the side. Lots of missed opportunities on this thing. Who knows, they might make 10 more of these and you might buy 10 more when it's all said and done. And the thing that I do like is that these things are jointed so you can move him around, but it's got no thrusters to plug in. Once again, a missed opportunity by Multiverse. Come on, guys. Like, you're almost there. You're almost there. Like, you're so close that you can almost taste it. You're almost at Marvel Legends level. But you're still a little off the mark. Like, you could have made this an amazing toy, and now it's just an alright toy. He comes with the sword, just solid black there. It looks like there's like a gloss black and a flat black. That's cool. The whole toy has that going on. A little bit of paint. The sculpt is amazing. The articulation is pretty much exactly what I just showed you. Here we go again with the double knee. No pin. I love that. 
The single elbow no pin, also love that. I think they might have did a double elbow no pin. It's something somewhere, I haven't seen it yet. Let's keep going and maybe we'll find it. Then you have this uh, Aquaman, I almost call him Armor Man. Aquaman with this armor, I love that gold finish. It's like it's almost chrome. They did a really good job on that. I guess this is what he's gonna look like when he fights the dude. He doesn't have the trident that he's supposed to have. This is probably the trident that he uses until he gets that trident. This thing's definitely cool. I'm glad that they made it. I could definitely have lived without this. Like, it's just another Aquaman. How many Aquamans do I need? I have so many that I'm not even going to display them all. He has these weird boots down here. It doesn't really look like he can swim in those. So that's weird that he even has those on. I guess this is the, him and his, like, regular just walking around clothes. And then they grab him and bring him down to the ocean. So he kind of fights with regular boots on. And then you have the Aquaman. I'll do some side-by-side -side comparisons with Marvel Legends just to see how close they're getting or if they're even in the ballpark. The Trident's cool. No big deal. They put a little love on the paint, a little love on the detail. Not a big deal, but it's cool. I love that they finally put him in the orange and green armor. It's not quite orange enough. It seems like it's more orange in the movie. I wish that they would have did that. As far as the head sculpt goes, it's almost like the cheap one is just as good. Let me... Hold on, get this thing out of the way. Let me get them close together. So if you look at them side by side, it's like the cheap one's just as good as the other one. And they're not the same, different hair, maybe slightly different. This one's like raising his eyebrow like the rock. The cheap head is just as good as the other head. I'll probably do a comparison with the Mezco to see how close that head is as far as comparison goes. As far as articulation on this, I don't see really anything new. It's got the double knee on it. Definitely love that. Everything else looks the same. The ab crunch, I don't really like this ab crunch. I like it when they like split it up here at the chest line and they can kind of move around. He does turn the waist. That's cool that he hit that joint pretty good. I, I've never been a fan of that kind of an ab crunch. Looks like he has a single elbow as well. The shoulders, that looks like shit. How they did that, they could have did a little bit better job on that. That just does not look good. All in all, the fat action figure's okay. He's nothing great. Then you have the mirror. We'll do a comparison with the other mirrors. So we'll just look her over real quick. She's different. They did a good job. Anything stand out here? It's got the heels on there, so it's hard to stand. And I don't know. That's just it. It, it just kind of looks kind of weird. I like it, and I kind of don't like it. As far as the scales go, they painted actually like little blue ones in there. That's cool. I wish they would have did a little bit more of that. She comes with a little spear. No detail on that. The face sculpt is kind of just blah. They put a little love on the paint on the hair, on her little crown thing, the ass. Eh, I guess it's pretty good. Can't move the head much because the hair kind of traps it. That's kind of normal. You kind of expect that. Then she does have this little ab crunch thing. I could take that or leave it. She's a pretty cool action figure, but no big deal. She also comes with these water hands, but I put these on the green one, so I'm no need to use those twice. Then you have the first Ocean Master. This is my favorite one. I love the purple costume. The head sculpt on that thing is pretty good, but nothing great. The lenses are painted like a, like a shiny red, so they almost look transparent. They did a good job on that. They put like lip gloss on, and that also looks pretty good to make the lips stand out a little bit. The little light purple on here, definitely cool. The sculpt on this thing is amazing as far as the articulation goes. Um... Once again, the double knee, no pin, killed it, single elbow. You don't get a lot out of that. Everything else basically kind of looks like Marvel Legends, same ab crunch that I don't really care for. Head is on a ball. I thought that somebody, one of these guys, had a single knee. Oh, it was this one. This one has a single knee. That sucks. I don't know why they would do that. That's... That's not cool at all. Not really digging that knee. And then you have this other one, the Ocean Master armored up. He also has a double knee, no pin, killing it on that. They have an ankle pivot. Also, same, basically just as good as Marvel Legends as far as that goes. Single elbow, which I prefer. Most of you guys don't. Doesn't move very much. I like the paint on there. It's nice and flat. Doesn't look shiny, even though if he was shiny, he'd be in water, so... I guess that'd be kind of cool. Then they did paint some dots on this thing. This guy's pretty cool. No big deal. This little armored two pack. This is definitely where you can save some money. It's cool. It's $40.
maybe wait to see if this goes on clearance. Let's do some I was going to get lazy and not pull all these out, but I figure since I've never showed you my Ocean Master collection, I should go ahead and pull it out. Here they are, starting over here, we have DC Collectibles, that one I definitely like a lot. Really cool, then you have the DC Mattel, the old school one. That one could possibly be my favorite one. I'm really digging that one. Then you have this one, which I'm not real sure why he's in a black and white costume, or if that's even Ocean Master. But I'm sure you'll let me know in the comics because comments, because you always do. Then starting down here, you have the movie one, which that one's cool. It's cool that he's purple, because purple's kind of his color. I'm glad that they kept that. That's definitely pretty cool. Hopefully he wears that costume a lot in the movie. That would also be cool. But he probably won't wear the mask because for some reason actors don't like wearing masks. Then you have him down here on the armor. Then you have the cheap one. There's the Ocean Master. So as far as comparison, I really don't need to do a side-by-side -side with any of those. Because the comic book ones and the movie ones don't really make sense but i like that this kind of has like a comic book vibe to it that they're killing it i'm really looking forward once to again don't know if movie. i've ever shown you my black magic collection so here it is and i actually kind of like all of these i think they well not really this one over here but all of them except for that one and i'm looking at black manta and for one he's a black guy like this some of these the helmets come off and you take it off and you got a black guy underneath so hopefully in the movie you take the mask off, or you don't even take the mask off. But it's a black guy underneath because I hate when they change it. I didn't like when they made Human Torch black. I would hate it if they made Black Panther white. And now you have Black Man. I God, I hope that he's black. Maybe they've already showed me in the trailer, and I just need to watch it again. Here's the collection. You can kind of see your comparison at all of these. I have to say, this one, the new one, is like my favorite. I think they did a really good job on that. Here's one with the clear lenses, like the red. That's Definitely like that. These ones use kind of like a shiny red paint, so it kind of looks, I don't know, that flat red paint. It's pretty much the only thing I don't really like about that action figure, and it'd be cool to have a blast effect coming out of the eyes. For a comparison packs. video, I went ahead and pulled out this older Aquaman, the shirtless one. I don't have the other one because I just got too many. Once you got that one, all the other ones are just kind of taking up space on your shelves. This is the only one that I went with. Um, I think, who is it? Mezco. Mayfex makes one. I went ahead and went with the... I can get them out of that clamp. I went ahead and went with the Mezco. I thought they kind of had the best version. i just got to compare the head sculpts on these things for you can see kind of where they're at. Alright, so the I mean, obviously the Mezco is way better than this one. We'll go ahead and compare it with this one. This head sculpt is actually really good. So here's one that they made like a couple years ago. This is really good. Really good. And then this one. I guess he's shiny because he's supposed to be wet. I, I don't know. It's just not doing it for me. Then you have this other one here, the cheap one. Put them all three together. I mean, they were killing it better then than they are now as far as the head sculpts go. There's your comparison as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and do a side by side comparison. Hold on. Right, so I guess the garbage man or something drove by. Took care of that. Side by side comparison with Marvel Legends because I keep thinking that Mattel. Is going to outdo Marvel Legends someday. They're not quite there. As far as the head sculpts go, the likeness go, Marvel Legends, they're destroying multiverse still. Like, this is head sculpt perfection. This thing is not that good. As far as the rest of the toy goes, this one has a double elbow with the pins. This one has a single elbow with the, with the pins. Me, personally, I prefer the single elbow because I don't like the pins. The shoulder, I mean, Marvel Legends kills them there. I like this better than that. Most of you guys are going to like this better than this. It kind of is what it is. On the knee, they both have the double knee as far as articulation goes. That's my dog. Sorry, I'm not going to redo this video. As far as the knee goes, Multiverse is crushing it. Like, they're just doing a way better job. You get more movement here. Looks cleaner. Way better joint. 
So Marvel Legends, go ahead and look at this. This is this is the bar. They've set it. Mattel, there's a lot of bars over here that you're not quite hitting yet. They need to get rid of the pins on all action figures. That's just a really big thing with me. It looks better without it. As far as the ankle pivot goes, um, they're real close to about the same. So when you look at them side by side, Marvel Legends, these are movie characters. They're still a little bit better. It's like, I don't know, that it's it just something like he looks good. Aquaman looks good. It's just like there's just something off. And then you look at this and you're like, God, that's pretty much action figure perfection. Other than the pens, if they get rid of the pens, this is a perfect action figure. This thing, there's still a little bit of room for improvement. Granted, this was $18 and this was $20, so maybe that's the $2 difference. I gotta see what this All dog right, is so doing. So for this comparison, we're gonna pull out the old Amazon exclusive green mirror against the blue one that's out now. And I was saying, yeah, they're exactly the same toy. But if you look at them side by side, they're pretty much all different. The shoes are different. The calves are different. Thighs are different. The, I don't, God, I'm trying not to say vagina part, but I guess I'm just going to go with vagina part. It's different. The whole toy is different. The head is different. I think the only thing that are the same are the hands. I can't remember if this one came with the spear because I went with this really cool water effect. I didn't do it with the water effect on this one because I did it on this one. I like, man, like, if this is Marvel Legends, he probably would have just given you, no, you know what? Marvel Legends just spent a lot of money on their movie toys. So they'd probably give us a whole brand new toy as well. I like this one. I like this one. I like them both. Let's compare this with a Marvel Legends female movie figure just to see like who's doing what okay this thing has a single knee it's like no big deal don't really care for that too much this one has the double knee but you got these sh crappy looking pins in here which I also don't care for that very much they both have a single elbow this one has a bicep swivel this one does not this one has that weird ugly joint on the shoulder the Marvel Legends does not this one it has the ab crunch that I like. This one has the ab crunch that I don't like. All right, Marvel Legends is blowing this thing out of the water. Once again, $20. This was $18. As far as the heads go, this thing almost, this thing doesn't look very good at all. This thing looks amazing. So Multiverse, you guys have a little room for uh, improvement. You definitely are still playing the catch-up game. Aquaman's an amazing movie. It would be nice if he gave his toys this good. Like, you got a couple good points going for you, but you're not quite there yet. So keep so trying. I wasn't real sure where to put my DC multiverse stuff. I was putting some over here on my Mezco shelf, but now that would just be too much and kind of take away from my Mezco stuff. Like, one or two figures to add in to accent it is cool, but I don't want to bog it down with some mediocre toys. So I went ahead and put them down here. I didn't really have a DC Aquaman area. So I'm just going to go ahead and bunch them up with my DC Aquaman figures. I got the two sharks here. Everything displays nice. You got the Black Mana over here with all the other Black Manas. Ocean Masters over here with the other Ocean Masters. Tons of Aquamans. But the movie Aquamans kind of mixed them in with these other Aquamans. Got the mirror down here. The Crab Kai. The Crab King guy. The Trench Monster. Whew! That was a big review. If you guys are still here, thanks for watching. <laughs>